What's going on ladies and gentlemen, this is Demo Storm back with the Isle. It's been a while guys and there's been quite a few updates. So we have the Galley Mimis, or Galley Mimis, sorry guys. We got the Puertosaurus, we got the Shigan, Sh Tungosaurus, Shen Tungosaurus, wow. Uh, not even gonna try. We got the Diablo Ceratops, it's like a smaller Triceratops to me. We got this little bastard, <laughs> Dry Dryosaur. We also have the Triceratops itself is in the game. We also got the Stego. Stego has come in. And we have the same old carnivores. But I mean, which one are we going to start with? We'll start with the uh, Mr. Stego. So, you'll notice a few graphical errors right there. A little wonky. I am on the test server, so don't mind those graphical errors. But look at the size of this little motherfucker. Yep. This is the Stegosaurus. You got the ability left click goes left. Right click goes right. Obviously. But now we also have things like resting. So you can put that little uh, resting bitch face on. And you know, <laughs> kind of get it on. Uh, kind of call in, you know, for more of the RP elements. We also have a feign limp. So you can feign like being injured. If you really want to like... In, uh, bring in the carnivores to attack you. And you notice that there's also a couple other things. The chat is not going all over the place, which is cool. We also have in the bottom right corner a indicator of sorts to kind of show you what's going on with your stats. I don't know if the health one's exactly working right now from what I've seen. And then you also have the, the talk, so I can broadcast my location to people. I have no idea how that works. I don't know if that is even working. We also have help. All different calls we have threaten and we probably have I'm sure that's friendly yeah and those are all different calls um, I believe that's on all dinosaurs so we'll take a little bit of a run in our stego but I, I like like the texture model of this it looks high it's almost spory if you guys remember the game spore I, I get that feeling when I'm looking at the stego and there is 68 people online, including myself, so we should be able to find something. I do not know how food works anymore. Um, I haven't been able to eat anything with most of these dinosaurs. Is the key, uh, We'll go over the controls too, because they are getting ready for the humans, I can tell from the, go to the bottom. And you have things like jump, and other things, fire, and then you got your frame limbs, voice wheel, use... Trot, special, all that fun stuff. And there's a dead T Rex right in front of me. Fantastic. So, yeah, I don't know how food's working right now. I don't know if I'm supposed to be eating a certain type of plant. It used to be like a light colored plant, but it looks like those are gone now to make it look more real. And there's that T Rex. He's got a little bit of a poly change as well. Someone's calling. Oh, well, we may have a fight on our hands. That sounds like a carnivore. I do not know. That's echoing throughout the valley. We'll go this way and get some high ground. Hmm. Like a little graphical like pop right there is driving me nuts, but I don't know if that's avoidable or not on the test server. And there's chat again. I can turn that off if need be. Um, it's just a simple control press. And then you also have insert, which is gone huge now. Um, that's more for the testing the debug thing, and you can also get your coordinates if need be. I'm still waiting for the VOP and stuff, but. We'll take this high ground real quick. Look at that. Alright, so we found water. Most of the time you can find dinosaurs around the water. And you can't suicide anymore. That is a big concept into the game that is highly controversial because a lot of people were looking for, you know, just their friends so they would suicide around the map and get as close as possible. Now you actually gotta kind of work for that. That there's no killing yourself in real life to respawn. That's a, that was like the main topic there. 
was it's that's not the point of the game uh, when the game comes out you will start off as a smaller dinosaur and kind of build up evolve points and then you spend them you become that dinosaur and then when you die you lose those points because you spent them on that dinosaur it's kind of like buy your revives and stuff kind of a cool concept though because you have to grow as a player they were swimming now I mean I'm okay with it because I can't hide at the bottom of the lake Wow. <laughs> Looks like he's straight up thugging. Hey, can call two in the water. <laughs> She's gonna play in the water. It's kinda funny. Oh, that's that's like prime for like a Sarko to come into the game, some type of alligator. Or even any water dinosaur, piranha, something. We're making our way downtown. <laughs> Yeah, I like where the game's going. Um, we're going to see a lot more dinosaurs coming in, flying ones and whatnot. I think they're working on that as we speak. Um, I watch a lot of the live streams for the developer. His name's The Dondi on uh, Twitch if you guys want to look at that. You can also look in the games forums or games community on Steam. You will be able to find this thing for anybody wondering like what's going on with the game if you already own it. If you don't own it, you can look into it more. Or just watch some of my previous videos where I kind of just got people together in huge groups. I think at one point we had like a 20 Velociraptor pack, Raptor pack. But that was that was an enjoyable, enjoyable experience. Actually, they're Austroraptors. They're not actually Velociraptors. But yeah. And I will cut back when I switch to another dinosaur. I have to get myself killed somehow. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So I switched servers just because my eyes were bugging out and I couldn't find someone to kill me. So I thought, maybe we'll take on another one of these guys. And uh, Mr. Triceratops looks like he's going to have to be the one because we've done the carnivores. And he's pretty badass. Look, a galley minus. Hello, friend. They did bring back the Austroraptor being able to cl uh, clinch onto things, so be careful of that as a herbivore. Ugh. Can I like... Oh god. There, we're ready. A little laggy. Oh, we'll take on the Karno with the Triceratops any day. Done. And we will just uh, sleep here. Yeah, buddy. So resting gets that little thing up. I don't know if food's working right now. Or if that's how you heal. Sounds like it's coming from our right. I remember ears being a little weird in this game. There's something big. Hmm. Whatever he types, it, I think it sounds like that. I think VOP is going to be like that, though. When I talk, only other Triceratops, I think, or herbivores can, you know, understand what I'm talking about. And then from there, you can kind of move on from. You know, carnivores will sound like carnivores to herbivores, and humans will just sound like dinosaurs. It's going to be actually pretty interesting. I'm going to ask. It doesn't seem like uh, eating's a thing, but I don't know if I'm doing something completely wrong. Oh, raptor. 
That is a raptor. His punk ass is stalking me down. Oh god. Alright. Well, sounds like a T-Rex. No. It's a Bronto. A Puerto. We kill the Carno and we make our way to a herd. Gotta keep an eye out behind me. It's a long freaking run for this guy. You can see my stamina bar, which is the footprint. Moving down, the blood around my screen shows me that I'm injured. And I have no idea about food. See, food used to look like that. That light green color on plants on the ground. And it looks like the trees are still that color for the puertos to find to eat. Look at that. Kind of just form my herd for no apparent reason. <laughs> These guys walk so wonky. I would think they would have walked a different way, but I guess that's that's how it worked. They put a lot of work into their models, guys, in this game. So I, get, I give them a lot of props. You know what I mean? You had the stomping lands originally, but they got some of the models from and designers and workers. But then you also have stuff that's been customized, you know, to make the game actually fun to play. I have a heavy enjoyment in this game. I don't know if you can still heal off of food. Where the hell is their food? Right, I'm gonna start moving this way. Hopefully the herd's kind of moving in the same direction. We can also rest, maybe? I mean, that gets your stamina back pretty quick, it looks like. I don't know if it's rebuilding health. Hmm. Very interesting stuff. But it, it gives that RP element for those who are RPing still in the game. Um, RP was a huge part of this game originally. So it's cool to check out the Triceratops. And see where the game's going after quite a few months of non-play. That looks downhill and dangerous, but oh well. We will pave a path. And at the same time, my parents seem to be stomping upstairs. Like all of them mixed together. But yeah, the aisle is... It, it's honestly, I can't argue, I have had a lot of fun with this game so far. And I'm actually really excited for the humans and cannibals and stuff and having those conflicts. I do not know if it will take on Ark, but I do like the idea of playing as a dinosaur. I mean, there's mods out there for Ark, but it, it's a different experience, I'll tell you. Let's see. There's a big lake down there we should probably just move down towards. And slowly make our way. Huh. And if you want to see any of the other dinosaurs that I did not do today, they will be up on the channel, the newer ones. The older ones I have done on the channel, uh, you can just find them in my playlist for the aisle. We had Velociraptor packs, we had Galley Mimus packs. Look at that. That is a lot of T-Rexes all in one spot. What in good name? I I don't know. Do we do we cause a traumatic experience or is this just like Oh yeah, that ended just how I thought it was. Well, guys, I'm going to end it here. Uh, next time, we'll be looking at the Velociraptor and the other newbies to the game. And for now, guys, I've been Nemo, and everyone have a wonderful night.